game. So it's a little glitchy just because of quick time or whatever. So we started by building the old school. Uh, we did our best to approximate what those banners would look like because that was kind of like an identifying factor of... So this um, is a Minecraft server that we're hosting in the school here. Yeah, this is... So this is... Uh, codeframes.gnwc.ca. You can only access it from inside of the school because okay. it's been set up in that specific way. Yeah. And so we built the uh, original school here uh, as accurately as we can. Oh, well, initially, actually... Can you we, go inside these buildings? Yeah, um, you can, but they're kind of underwhelming. We didn't really build anything inside. Right, okay. But, yeah, so it's all grass in here for now. Um, <laughs> That's the way but the we do have the, we do have the staircase. Oh, good. you can go up we to like up where to your office. office is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Fall that's off about the edge. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, once we got that built, um, we started building the surrounding area. So we built um, the neighbors. Built the neighbors, some of the condos here, and then we also built some of the warehouses in the back, as well oh, as wow. these mountains. And these? Do you have the spells? place where the people, the art gallery people? Oh, we could. We could definitely. Yeah. I mean, technically, that could be it. You know what I mean? This um, would be so cool just for inviting people to the campus. Oh my so God. now uh, the SkyTrain uh, has had a little mishap, it looks like. Uh -oh. <laughs> Someone blew up the chest with the, the carts. Yeah, uh, but it's supposed to go on an endless loop. Right. And then uh, and then I built uh, Ken or Kevin Lum's East Van right. sign. Right. And then once we had all those like identifying landmarks, we uh, started building the school. The new school. Right? The new school. And uh, we did a time lapse of it. We built each floor individually, and uh, it's all based on the, the diagrams, the, actual the blueprints. Yeah. yeah. So we overlaid them in Illustrator onto a grid paper, and then I marked out the approximately where each one needed to go and how many columns we needed and everything. And uh, yeah, just built it out. And Pretty can happy. you go inside these ones? Or is that you can. Yet? Let's just go down there. Uh, shift. There we go. So you can go in. Uh, it is built with a certain level of um, accuracy, but we don't have like a lot of the staircases built in there yet. But mm -hmm. all the walls should be fairly accurate, especially like up above all the rooms. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so there's dormitory rooms up above. Uh, we'll just bust into one of these windows here. Let's just go in here. So, <laughs> so good. we don't want people doing that. Do no, but yeah, there there's all sorts of rooms and stuff that you can go in. And yeah, it's pretty much accurate. I think we're missing a few windows right here. There's gonna be like longer ones, I guess, on the side of the building. Um, yeah. So that's that's about it. And cool your name not. is? <laughs> My name is Patrick Daggett. And you're a graduate of the... I'm a graduate of the Great Northern Way Campus's digital media program. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the new building. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, All right. we're pretty happy with it. Okay, here we go. Stop.